today on Florida Sport Fishing. You know, this kite fishing is super, super exciting. The visual aspect of it is what is just absolutely awesome. Look at him, look at him, look at him, wow! Wow, he's going crazy, wow! CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor. Stronger, faster, lighter. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. And Stingray Tackle, shop where the pros shop. Shop at StingrayTackle.com. Make it six, Jimmy. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're up here off of South Palm Beach doing a little bit of wintertime kite fishing. Just got set up here. We've got some pretty decent conditions, a little bit of a chop, some south, southeast breeze. Just got our bait set, Carlos is up in the bow. He's got a kite up with three baits. I've got my own three baits back here. We've got Gene on the flat line side, fishing a couple of flat baits, a couple of flat lines. I tell you, kite fishing is just an absolutely awesome tactic. I think, you know, what's really cool about it is the visual aspect, watching your baits and watching the fish come up and crush the baits. It's just an awesome presentation for all of the pelagic species that we encounter down here. Sailfish, wahoo, dolphin, cobia, blackfin tuna, of course, kingfish, they'll all crush these kite baits. I'm just feeding out this other bait off the bow on the flat line side. Not gonna run too many lines, just, you know. Gene's got one in the back. We'll put this one out for him too. See if he can do double duty. And then, you know, we got our kite baits on the other side and we're just waiting for something to swing by and whack one of these things. A lot of guys make the mistake, you gotta have 20 rods out to catch one fish. No. Keep it clean, and you'll keep it tight. <laughs> there you go. Nice, dude, on the flat line. Dude, that's why we fish these flat lines when we're kite fishing. We like to cover, you know, just a 360 degrees around the entire boat. I don't think it even knows it's hooked. Come on, stop, stop, stop. I hope that's not a shark. Easy, easy. You know, this kite fishing is super, super exciting. The visual aspect of it is what is just absolutely awesome. Watching the fish come up and crush the baits, you know, you just can't beat that. The way it's deep like that, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna venture to say that has to be a shark. Because there's no king mackerel or wahoo that's gonna take that much line. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice. Hopefully it's a big slob. Slob of, it's definitely a big slob of something. <laughs> that I assure you. Hopefully it's a cobia. Yeah, it'd be a world record cobia. Big old cobia. Nice dude, just got crushed by a sailfish on my long bait. Like I said about kite fishing with so, whoa, there he is jumping. What's so exciting is just watching him come up and crush the bait. He's just, oh, epic. Look at him go, look at him go. That's what kite fishing's all about, baby. Gene's got a fish on in the stern here, not sure what that is. He's fighting a monster, and I got a sailfish on. He is just wicked, wicked, baby. Look at him. Uh, come on, come over here. Come on. You know, when you're fighting these sails, I'll tell you, guys that come out tournament fishing, their goal is to release these fish as quickly as possible. 
That's not my goal. My goal is to enjoy the fight. And he's got me stretched out. You're going this way, Gene's the other I know. way. So we got problems. We, we got go. problems right now. He's going south. Mike Fish is going north. So. You're so privileged here in South Florida to have this epic sail fishing. You can catch these fish any day of the year, but of course the winter time is peak season when these fish are moving down. And nothing beats this kite fishing, you know, watching that bite, watching that fish come up and thrash on that bait and just finally grab it, pop it out of the clip on the kite. Little drop back, coming tight on him. And when that hook catches him right in the corner of the mouth and he starts screaming line, that's what it's all about. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Introducing C-Deck, a shock absorbent non-skid material manufactured from UV protected foam specifically formulated for marine applications. C-Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck, reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat. Available in a range of colors, C-Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. Chuck Rollins here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Bubba Blade 9 inch tapered flex. The reason I think this is the perfect blade for these smaller fish like your panfish, your, your white bass, your crappie, is that it's got a lot of flex. You still got that perfect handle. It's got the nice thumb piece. It's got the little trigger right here. So when your hands are wet, you don't have to worry about that blade sliding out of your hand. It is super sharp right out of the box. And that's why I think this is the ideal blade. Underwater fish light adds a beautiful glow to your water line while attracting fish for both viewing and sporting pleasure. You will be amazed by the amount of life in the waterways behind your home. And if you don't live on the water, Underwater Fish Light has a portable system that's perfect for night fishing and exploring from your boat. See for yourself what lies just below the surface with Underwater Fish Light. Fish guaranteed. Once his head is turned toward you, you can start to make progress. Key with these fish, once you got them coming, you gotta keep them coming. Keep that head turned right toward the boat. But I know when he sees the boat, he's gonna bolt him. Fighting this fish on a seven foot chaos composite rod, 15 to 30 pound class. Daiwa Salty size 50, loaded with 30 pound diamond line. Just a perfect combination for these fish. Not too light and not too heavy. You know, you don't want to go too light because then you'll exhaust the fish. You know, you're trying to release these fish unharmed. So you want to enjoy the fight, but at the same token, you want to be well equipped. So it's a balance, it's finding that right balance. And this is what works for us. And I'll tell you, when that fish is close to the boat, that's the most important part of the fight. You're gonna lose that fish in the first 30 or last 30 seconds of the fight if you're gonna lose them. So you really gotta pay attention, especially when it's close to the boat. You don't have a lot of line out, so you don't have a lot of give, you don't have a lot of stretch. Because remember, monofilament will stretch a third of its length. It's like a giant rubber band. And that's what's so good about this diamond line. It doesn't lose its strength as it stretches and retracts. There he is, right there. There he is. He's getting close to his fish, too. Beautiful, dude. Beauty. Love sailfish. All lit up, gold. Look at that big sail. The CV is a sailfish catching machine. Nice, dude. Look at that hook just right there. Just ease that right out. Perfect. Perfect. No harm done to that fish whatsoever. 
There you go. There he goes. Perfect. Sailfish, one so far. And Gene's still tight on mega fish. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Fishing three baits from a single kite is not as complicated as it seems. First, set your rods in the appropriate rod holders with the reels and free spool and clickers engaged. Deploy your kite to the point where all three release clips are still resting at the tip of the kite rod. Next, clip in your main running line directly to the top or farthest release clip with your hook still affixed to the reel seat. Ease your kite up and out to the middle release clip. Repeat the process with the second or mid bait rod by clipping in your main running line to the middle release clip with your hook still affixed to the reel seat. Ease the kite up and out to the third release clip and repeat the process for the final rod, which will be your short bait. Now ease the kite out another 50 feet or so to its final position. All three lines should be running up to their designated release clips and back down to the reel seats. Starting with the long bait, hook a live goggle eye and toss it out. Engage the reel and gently reel up the slack as you coerce the bait out to its final position. Repeat the process with the mid bait rod, tossing out a hooked bait, engaging the reel, and gently coercing the bait out to its final position. Finally, repeat the process with the third or short bait. With practice, the entire process should take less than three minutes. <laughs> Trying to break that rod, huh? <laughs> Monster shark. Been fighting this thing for an hour. We're gonna, at the very least, see him. I'm literally pushing this tackle to its very, very limits. Now I got color. There's only one thing that it is. This is not good. There he is. A couple hundred pounds. It's a good one. Nice and healthy. That's a big. Big He's got a remora on him. Shark. Look at that. <laughs> oh. He's going to break it right now. I know. <laughs> so don't worry about it. The Mercury Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. Yeah. And it comes with all this. Meet Tom from Customer Support. Whoa. He's a hugger. Huh? Not really into that, Tom. Thank you. This is Nick from Field Testing. Runs these babies thousands of hours. They're solid. Nick? This is Cheryl and Bobby, our prop engineer. He turns horsepower into performance. Oh, and the rest of the gang's here. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. Tom, the hugger. So you're looking for a place to go on vacation where the water is warm and the nights are hot. A place to remember, a place to get lost or blend in with the crowd. A place that defines your individuality. A place to test your skill at something new. A place that feels like home away from home. Visit Jacksonville, Florida. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100-foot Yankee Captains to the world-famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. Fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. Want more power and increased towing capacity? California Customs goes beyond the hitch. Let us transform your truck into the ultimate tow vehicle. Two and four wheel drive, California Customs does it all. Towing accessories and load control systems, lift and leveling kits, custom wheels and tires, performance upgrades, toolboxes and bed covers, plus all of your audio, lighting and security needs. California Customs, let us make your vehicle what you really wanted all along. Yeah, yeah, I'm tight, I'm tight. Man, he was messing with it, messing with it. Trying to let my other baits out here at the same. Oh, nice sail. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Ha! Nice, dude. There he goes, go crazy, look at him. That was cool. Dude, he just kept messing with that bait and messing with it. Finally just grabbed it. Got to multitask when you're kite fishing. You've got to be able to fish multiple rods at one time. Coming, coming, coming. 
Oh, look at him, look at him. Look at him. Wow. Wow. He's going crazy. Wow. Hey, I'll tell you what, guys, while we're fighting the sailfish, let's take a quick break, check out our pro's tip department. I want to talk to you a little bit more about fine tuning your kites. There he is, jumping, jumping. Nice. Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, on this episode's Pro's Tip, I want to talk to you a little bit about fine tuning your kite. Remember that there's a variety of different kites out there, both from different manufacturers and for different wind conditions. You have kites that are designed to fly from 5 to 15 knots and kites that are designed for high wind situations all the way up to 30 knots. So make sure that you use the right kite at the right time. If you can only get your hands on one, this green SFE is a great all-around versatile kite. It'll fly from 5 to 20 plus knots and it'll get the job done. Uh, remember that kites are adjustable. Each kite has a bridle right in the front of the kite that you can adjust by simply sliding this little slip forward and back. And what that's going to do is determine how that kite flies and how much wind it grabs. If it's flat, it's going to fly a little bit closer to the water. If you adjust it and turn a little bit on an angle, you're going to get more altitude, more lift, and you'll be able to get that kite higher up in the sky. How you adjust that is going to depend on the wind conditions that you're facing that day. If you're dangling light baits like pilchards or heavy baits like blue runners, that's going to make a difference as well. Also, if you're flying multiple kites and you want to keep those kites spread apart, you're going to have to add either a couple of shots on the corners, a couple of split shots, and how many you add, again, is going to vary depending on the wind conditions and how much spread you're looking to achieve. Usually one or two, sometimes even three shots is enough to get the job done. If I want that kite to bank to the left, I'm going to put a couple of split shots on the left side of the kite. If I want it to bank to the right, obviously I'll put a couple of split shots on the right side of the kite. Another thing to mention is we're flying helium balloons today and we're fixing those helium balloons to the kite with kite thongs. And these kite thongs are really simple, they're really versatile. Uh, it eliminates the use of having to tie that kite to the balloon, or I should say to tie that balloon to the kite with a piece of monofilament and using that electrical tape. Certainly you can do it that way, but this is just a, a little bit easier. Also, these kite thongs are adjustable. So if you're only flying one kite, it's okay to have that balloon right in the center of the kite. But if you're flying two kites like Carlos and I are today, we want to keep those kites spread apart. So I'm going to put my balloon on the right side, or I should say, depending on how you're looking at the kite, if it's going to fly in this orientation, I'm going to keep it on this side here, and that'll turn the kite, and it'll keep it almost like a wing, and it'll keep it flying to the left. And on the contrary, up in the bow, we'll put that balloon on this side, which will hold that kite in that orientation, and it'll force it over to the right. And that's what's nice about those bridles. They're really simple to use, really quick, and really adjustable. Another thing to remember is these kite spars. Kite spars are not interchangeable. These are designed specifically for each kite. You cannot use these spars on a different brand kite. In addition, these particular spars were designed for this particular kite. And don't, don't try and mix them up. It's just not going to operate properly. And if you happen to break a spar, you really can't replace just one. You're going to need to get an entire set of four spars because they really do all work together. It takes some practice to go out there and be a good kite fisherman. But I'll tell you, once you get it all dialed in, the rewards are absolutely awesome. About to release another sail here. These fish are moving down the beach. You get these cold fronts. Look how awesome he is. Hang on, we got a couple minutes. And they're moving down the beach, and most of them will go all the way down, hug the coast, all the way across the Keys, around Key West, all the way to Isla Mujeres in Mexico. Some of them will make a left, but most will go all the way down and around, go right to that tip of Mexico there. Just a phenomenal fishery that we have here with these fish cruising down the beach. They'll hug the coast, 50 to 200 feet of water predominantly. Although don't be surprised if you're trolling for dolphin out in 400 feet and a sailfish comes up and crushes your ballyhoo, that's certainly gonna happen. Uh, that's not our bait. <laughs> Let me see that. That's something else that he ate right there and he still came after our bait. That's a little bullet bonita. That's exactly what that is. And then the fish obviously is on the feed in the middle of digesting that little bullet bonita, and then came up and crushed our goggle eye. 
Now he put up a valiant fight, great fish, average size. Look at the nice colors. Carlos is being really careful with that bill and that sail, that fin. That dorsal is really fragile. You can hold it, but hold it very gently. You don't want to tear that dorsal. Just a great, great fish. Really nice and lively, full of color. I'd say she's ready to go. You ready? Yeah. All right, swim it away. Are you ready to get hooked up? Whoa! Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Hoorag. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, yeah. baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Fishity, the maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rugged Shark, technical footwear designed for angling and boating enthusiasts. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Salt Life, ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. Good job, dude. He came up, he crushed it, he missed it. You went into free spool, he came back and ate it. I don't know if it's a kingfish, doesn't look like a sail. I think it might be a king. Grab a gaff, you can use a kingfish to make some nice fish dip. And when you're kite fishing and drifting, having these flat lines often can make a difference. Okay. Not a bad one. Oh, uh, look at that. Stinger got him? Yep, you got him on the stinger on the flat side. Yep, it's a good fish, dude. He's in the teens, nice and healthy. Perfect size to smoke. Absolutely. Just one of the, you know, one of the many species that you're gonna catch out here are these king mackerel, a staple. That's what these things are, staple. Nice, nice, dude, you're tight. Told you we caught that kingfish just a little bit shallower, and oftentimes when you see those kingfish, you'll see the sailfish. You know, that means there's forage in the area, the fish are feeding, so it's not uncommon to see them both. Nothing and then something. Nothing and then something. I mean, that's <laughs> kite fishing, you know? Sometimes it's just absolutely on fire and explosive, other times you just gotta pick away at it, but you know what, like today's a perfect example. You know, we're sticking with it, making sure the presentation is looking good. We're on our third sailfish. Can't ask for more than that. I mean, granted, it's nice to come out and catch a dozen fish, but hey, that's not gonna happen every day. So you gotta take what you can get, and I'm certainly not complaining. Come out and, you know, catch three, four sailfish on a beautiful morning. Nothing wrong with that. Dude, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Woo, he's going now. Going oh, look at him way out there. <laughs> way out there. You got to stop him. You got to turn him. You got to control him. Oh, he's coming out. There you go. Coming right at you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Afternoon bite picking up. Had a little midday lull, but here it is, baby. I mean, Not a can... little one. It's a good one. No, that's a good fish. Yeah, it's dude. a good fish. <laughs> That right there, what you just saw a couple minutes ago, that's why it's probably one of the most sought after game fish in South Florida here. Nutty. They go ballistic. And they just do cartwheels and launch their body out of the water like that and just get inverted, that's insane. And no matter how many times you've seen it, <laughs> every time you see it, it's like watching it for the first time, it's pretty cool. 
There he goes. Oh, oh, look yeah. at that jump. Nice. Another thing to mention. There he is, still jumping. Great when you're kite fishing, obviously you really need some good hardy baits. We're fishing goggle eyes today. Truthfully, we didn't have the time to come out and catch the baits ourselves. We got some from a local bait boat. You know, on a day like today when it's breezy, you can't fish pilchards, you can't fish ballyhoo off of a kite. You know, they're just, the baits are too fragile and too light. Blue runners or goggle eyes is really your only choice. Some speedos maybe. But you need something that's really hardy. You know, that bait is going through uh, some serious trauma, dangling from that kite, fighting the waves and the wind, and you know, a fragile bait is gonna die and sailfish is gonna come up, won't even look at him. Woo, nice one. He's vibrant. I'll tell you what, that's what kite fishing is all about. Just a ton of fun. And again, that fish was intended for release anyway. We touched the leader, it's an official release. Watched him swim away, happy and healthy. He's gonna recover in a few minutes and go out and continue feeding on his way. So hey, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're gonna stick with it for a little while longer, see if we can hook up again. Hopefully you picked up some tips and tricks on kite fishing, and if you weren't already hooked, hopefully you are now. We'll see you next week. Good job, dude. See ya. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.